This video is going to cover how to download Anaconda and set it up to be used in Visual Studio Code. So you can see here that I've already downloaded Visual Studio Code, um, but I don't have any projects open right now. So first, download Visual Studio Code. It's really easy to do. Go online, uh, search for download Visual Studio Code, and follow the instructions there. Um, and once you do that, you can catch back up here where we'll start, well, where we'll start to download Anaconda. And Anaconda, for those of you who don't know, um, provides tools for working with the Python and with the Python programming language. Okay, and so I'm just going to go over to the internet here and I'm going to search um, for download Anaconda. I'm going to hit enter. And we can see we have this free download here. And so I'm going to go here. And this is a Python distribution. Um, that includes some other tools. And so I'm going to download the Python 3.7 version, which is the most current version right now. I'm using a 64-bit machine, so I'm going to use the 64-bit graphical installer. And you can see that this is uh, almost 500 megabytes. So this will take a little bit of time to download. So I'm going to click download here and then just pause this video um, while I download this installer. So I'm going to click save and it's downloading over here. So I'm going to pause this video while that finishes. Okay, so my Anaconda installation or my my downloading the uh, installer is finished. So I'm going to just click on that installer to run it. And it will open up here in just a sec. It's working on it. Here we go, getting this set up. And I'm just going to go through the install options here. So I'm going to click next. I'm going to agree. I'm just going to keep all the recommended settings so that you can do this the same way on your machine. Next, um, I'm going to keep the default here. Next, and it's going to go ahead and install this. Um, and it could take a couple minutes. I think in setting up the package cache can take a little time. So once again, I will pause this video while this finishes installing and turn it back on uh, once ready to continue. Okay, so my installation is complete. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and click Next here. And now I can go ahead and click next again. And you can see that the, this is tightly integrated with the PyCharm IDE. I'm going to show you how you can use this in Visual Studio as well. So we can click next. And I'm just going to uncheck these boxes because uh, we'll go to Visual Studio. And I'm going to click finish here now. All right, so let's go back over and go to Visual Studio and make sure we get this set up um, so that we can access our Anaconda installation. So the first thing you want to do in Visual Studio is install a Python extension. So in Visual Studio, this button over here that looks like this grid with the corner coming off, uh, that's your extensions panel. So go ahead and click on that and you can just search for Python. Um, on mine, it pops up right here, this Python um, extension that's by Microsoft. Um, if you don't have it pop up, you can type in Python in the search bar and it should be the first result, okay? So I'm gonna install this extension. It's gonna pop up here. I'm gonna come over and click install. And this will take just a minute to install. So once again, uh, I'll pause the video while it finishes installing. Okay, so we're done installing. You can see instead of having the option to install, I now have the option to uninstall. I'm gonna just click this button over here to go back to my explorer or my file that goes to my files. That goes there, and I can close the extension window here. Okay, so we're back here. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to be able to set up the interpreter that I want Visual Studio Code to use. And the first thing I'll do to do that is I'm going to do Control Shift P, and that opens up this palette, is what it's called. And I want to find my user settings. So if I do Open User Settings, you can see I have this preferences open user settings. Okay. And once I have this opened, um, I'm going to search for the Python path. And so once I'm here in my user settings, I want to find the Python path variable and change that. And I can do that by searching for Python here. And you can see that once I do that, it subsets the variables and we want to find Python path. Um, so you'll have to scroll down until we can find that Python path variable. 
which I believe is down towards the bottom. And it might be easier to just type in Python path directly up here. Maybe that'll make it a little easier for us. Okay, so we have virtual environments. We have a git path. Let's see here. Okay, so here's Python path right down here at the bottom of the screen. All right, so there we are. Um, and so here we're going to just want to make sure we're pointing to the correct path for our Python installation. And we can double check this by going to where we installed um, Anaconda. And for me, I installed it. The default location is going to be under users, your username. And then you should be able to see Anaconda 3 right here. Okay. And then we're looking for a Python executable. And you can see that I have this Python executable right here. And if I link to this, um, that will give me the base installation of Python. Okay. And we can go over uh, virtual environments or environments in a different video. So I'm looking for the Python exe right here. Okay. And so here's the path to that. I'm just going to copy that in case I need it. And we'll go back over to Visual Studio Code. Okay, so now where this says Python, I'm going to paste that path. And remember that it was python.exe that is going to be our Python interpreter we want to use here. Okay, and so now I have that set and we should be good to go. So what I want to do now is I want to come back over here and I want to... Um, open a folder and make a project and test this out. So I'm going to go open folder and I'm going to go to uh, just my downloads where I uh, do a lot of testing. So we'll do test and I'll select that test folder to open. Okay, Visual Studio Code open there. And now I want to add a file to this folder and I'm going to call it test.py. I'm going to hit enter. And you can see here we're activating an extension down in the bottom left corner. So you can see Python extension is loading. So this is I need to download and install Python before using the extension. Um, we already have it installed, so we'll see if we can actually get this to work. You'll see you notice down here that we have Python 3.7.4 is recognized, and it says base conda in the bottom left. So it looks like it's recognizing our base conda environment, which is exactly what we want to have happen. Okay, and I don't know why I'm getting this message saying it's not installed, because um, we haven't installed. And we can test and see if this is actually going to work. And so, uh, let's go ahead and do just that. And so what we can do is let's just import OS, and uh, which is, and then let's do print, um, current directory, and then we'll do another print, which will be os.getcwd. Um, and I'll just double check my syntax and make sure we're right there. That should be correct. So I'm just going to go ahead and do control S to save that file. And then we can click this run button up here and it will run uh, down below in the terminal here, and so we should see if this works. You can see we're activating our base environment. And, okay, so it's not recognizing Conda for some reason, but you can see that we did print out current directory, and I printed out the location here. So I'm not exactly sure. Oh, okay, so what's happening here is it's not recognizing Conda, okay? because Anaconda comes with a terminal environment, and we're just not linked up to that terminal here, and that's okay. But you can see that our Python interpreter here is working, okay? And so we just, when it called conda activate base to activate the base environment, it just didn't recognize that call, but it does recognize uh, that we have conda installed here. All right, so we have it set up so that we can now do Python operations uh, with Anaconda, and just to prove this to you, let's just do a basic multiplication 
let's do one times two, and then let's do another one, and we'll do two. Uh, we'll do two to the third power, right, which will be eight. And so let's just print those out and show that this would indeed work. So I'll run this, and you can see that we've printed out our current directory. We've printed out um, the the path of that directory. We've printed out two. We've printed out eight. We did not get that error again once the terminal was activated for the first time. And so that was just a, an error activating the terminal and the, and the environment that the terminal didn't recognize. But we do have access to Python and the Anaconda installation of Python here through Visual Studio Code.